everyone. So today's video is a review on the new LA Pro Conceal Concealers. Does that make sense? But I have two colors. One of them is in Dark Cocoa and the other one is in Natural. Now, um, I bought Natural obviously to highlight underneath my eyes, to um, bridge of my nose, all that kind of things. Also to conceal. Um, and I bought the darker shade to contour. I'm not way too familiar with cream contouring, but I really wanted to try it. So I went ahead and bought this one. Now, first things first, these are about $5, I believe, on the LA website. Um, I think I got it for $4.99 at a store at the mall. Like one of those tiny little makeup stores. I think they were $4.99 or maybe $5.99. I'm not sure, but it was really... Um, similar to the original price. Um, they do come with 0.25 fluent ounce and they do come in many different colors. So I do believe that you will find your match no matter what. I think there's 17 different colors but I might be wrong so don't quote me on that. But I do know that there was a lot of selection for me but I went with these two. So far, so good. I have been really liking them. Um, I have seen a lot of videos comparing this with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I have used that product for about a year and a half constantly without trying any other concealer. I actually have an empty one right here. Um, I don't have it right now in stock as you can see my bottle is empty but I will be doing a separate video on that concealer because I do not think it's a dupe so if you really like that concealer and you are trying these out because you heard it was a dupe I honestly don't believe it is and I can safely say that it has a really different consistency um like I said I am really familiar with that concealer and to me these aren't as good they're great they're amazing but the Pro Longwear is an amazing, amazing concealer. Um, these do last a really long time, so that's amazing. And for $5, I mean, what else do you want? Um, so, yeah, I would even pay like 10 for these because they're great. They're really, really nice. Um, the consistency is a little bit more moussey than the Pro Longwear. Pro Longwear is a little bit more liquidy. And this one is more kind of creamy, kind of moussey. Um, a little bit, it can be on the thicker side, I would say. But I really do like it. It sets so fast and I love that in a concealer. When it sets fast. It's like the best thing. It doesn't leave your skin um, like sticky or anything like that. So that's great. has amazing, amazing coverage. If you're looking for a cheap, really good coverage kind of concealer, then I think these are the way to go. Um, and this one for contouring, I have been really liking it. I have noticed though that I do kind of have to, when I draw the line, I have to go in and buff it as quickly as possible because it will kind of set on my skin. So that is kind of annoying, but it's completely fine. So they do kind of set kind of fast, which it's actually good, but can be bad for contouring. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they are really good. One other thing that I don't like, which is actually nothing to do with the actual product, it is the packaging. I hate the packaging. I hate this um, like brush applicator thing. I think it's the worst thing ever. Like, ugh, I hate it. I think a lot of the product gets lost in the cap since it's so long and it also um I, I feel like it gets absorbed into the bristles maybe I'm crazy but I haven't been using this um product as much I've had it for about two to three weeks and I've only used it a handful of times not because I don't like them but because I you know switch up my products very often like I said, and yeah it doesn't seem like it has a lot of product so, I mean, but for $5, what else do you want? It is really great, and I do recommend it if you're looking for a cheap, nice concealer. I think this is great. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys like this review, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!